Hello, 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 everyone, and good morning to you all. Even though I'm doing this on Wednesday afternoon. Oh, it is going to be a busy day. When you see this, it's going to be go, 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 go. Yeah, and today is another hot, hot, humid day. When it was hot, it was fine. I could take the heat. But as soon as the humidity started to ramp up, that's when I died. So, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video where I did a tutorial on um, variegated thread. Um, I hope that answered a lot of questions and that you were able to understand it and see it for what it was. I will be doing videos like this where you will see me because I'm going to be keeping my iPad at home so it can upload and um, taking my phone with me when I go. So anyway, I am working here on nutcrackers. Oh, and um, today is the 1st of August. That's what I was going for. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. It's just yeah, another month has bit the dust. So now we are on to really the last full month of summer, which is hard to believe. We have one more hot, hot day to get through and that's tomorrow. But I'm hoping there will be a nice strong breeze because uh, otherwise it's going to be just death to us all. So, <clears throat> but I will be going over to um, Juliet's at about maybe 8.30. And uh, so we can get everything out on the tables and that kind of thing. And, um, yeah. So, hopefully we do well on our yard sale. And we're all hoping that some of the bigger stuff will sell. <laughs> right away. Sell it right away. So. But anyway, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> I didn't do much stitching at all. And I had gone over to Juliet's with some more stuff. John had come here with the buggy. And we put in the dresser and the other bookshelf. I have such a mess to clean up back there. But I'm not worrying about it right now. Because it's just, yeah. Um, I, I just can't. For one thing, it's too much with the heat. And... I'm not feeling very well. I've got my Kleenex in here. Um, and uh, so I'm just not doing anything. Juliet and John picked me up here. And we went to um, um, one of the ladies from work. Her sister had called Juliet and had asked if she would go and check on her because she, all she kept getting was a busy signal. And um, so anyways, uh, um, so uh, we went out there and to see, to make sure she was okay. And, uh, and she was. The, um, 
MTS guy, well, Bell MTS, he was there and had fixed, had fixed the, um, the phone system. So we just talked with Bernice there for a little while. And, um, yeah. And then on our way home, we stopped in Mulvey Hill. There was a yard sale. And, um, so they were supposed to start tomorrow, but they started today instead. But we will start tomorrow. And, uh, hopefully we do really well. I'm keeping hydrated. I am keeping hydrated. So, yeah, so I went over there and I priced some stuff and, um, and then it just got to be too much and then I had to hunt down the pure later guy because Juliet had ordered something and it never showed never showed never showed so I talked to Ryan and he said at first he said well it could have gone with a different carrier I said no I said it's pure later so he said oh no no for sure he didn't have it. I said, okay. I said, I'm just, you know, I'm just checking in. Because I said I had phoned already to, um, to Pure Later this morning. And um, they marked down where the address is and everything so but he said to check the pharmacy because they uh there's drop-offs there for pure later too so but ryan's a good guy he uh, he's very thorough i know he does a good job i've had him stop in here many a time and he's very very good very thorough everything so, but anyway, but yeah, I checked at the yard sale there and there was really, there was nothing that I needed there. I'm looking for Corel dishes, you know, all different kinds of patterns. Now they did have four saucers. But I didn't need the saucers. If they were plates, I would have taken them. Like small dessert plates or something. Yeah. Then I would have. So. But they were doing a roaring business there, which is wonderful. Oh my gosh, they had so many swallow houses up. Apartments, Swallow Apartments, Purple Martin Apartments set up. And I bet you anything, they don't have any problems with mosquitoes. None. So, because those birdies eat a lot of mosquitoes and bugs. So, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh, see how we're going to do tomorrow. And I am going to, after this video, um, like on Wednesday evening, I am taking my card table down so I can take it over there to Juliet's so I can put some stuff on there. I'm thinking I might put either books on there or... Uh, Maybe some of the, the dog stuff there. Uh, goodness knows I've got a lot of that. I've got 
tin food. I've got, um, uh, you know, like Beneful and, um, you know, and all those kind of things there and treats and dog food, like uh, bag dog food, what was left over. So sad. Oh, I feel such a loss because that's the last of Lily Bell's stuff. And I just, yes, it's a, it's a hard one. Tomorrow it will be two weeks. And you know what? In a lot of ways, it's just, it's just been like this morning. And I miss that girl. I miss her. And, uh, but yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So, today for lunch I had leftover pizza. And I had put clothes away. And once this is done here, I'm going to get my nightgown on because it's going to be so much cooler than what I've got on right now. So, but I will probably be doing my videos each evening um, because it's better than in the morning, I think. I think. Now, I know it's dark here, what you're seeing. It's because I've got everything closed. So if it looks red, it's because of the red curtains, you know. So, um, yeah. So, I'm looking forward to it. I will be taking my nutcrackers with me tomorrow. because that is um, the easiest thing to take. And um, Jonah, he's been just laying up there. I don't know if it's the heat, you know, like he's just not I think he still misses misses Lily Bell. I I I really think so. I did put her bed down here, but not once has um, he come down here to sleep. So I think that ship has sailed. So. But yeah, but it was nice to go for a ride. I went down a road I'd never been down before. So that was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so, um, but otherwise, yeah, not much else. I, um, how much did I do here? I worked a little bit more here, see, on, um, Saga. And I think I'm going to do that. And I seen one there today and, yeah, all these arches and everything are, are done in one color. And mine is with the variegated. So, and please go and look on Timu for the threads, okay? Now, a, a lot of you I know are diehard DMC, and that's fine. If you want to buy the, the DMC version, go ahead. But I know for me, like, to get 10 threads is um, like 
$20 or more. Whereas for these, right now, because they're on sale, so it's only about 24 cents each. So, package of 10 was, what was it, 242 Canadian? So, you can't go wrong with that, I'm telling you. But stock up on it. I'm sticking to everything. So, but then starting Saturday, the temperature is going to go down some. And the humidity is going to drop. And that is good. I can take the heat. I am just, I cannot take the humidity. I just cannot. It makes me ill. Like when, when I got back, just from walking from Juliet's car all the way, excuse me, around into the house, I was feeling sick. And um, I know it's because of that high humidity. So, yeah. And occasionally there's a breeze that comes in through the front window or the front, from the front door there. And that's wonderful. I do have a fan. So Juliet asked me to bring the fan. So I will, well, she didn't think it was necessary. But you know what? I think I'm going to take it because I don't know. If if the wind is strong or stronger uh, or it's breezy and it can suck some of that humidity away, that um, then that would be awesome. So, and I washed the dishes. No way am I going to be putting them away. I'm not doing it. Not doing it. Not doing it. No, not doing it. No. It's the less that I move around. Hopefully, the less hot I am. And everything, like my arms here are just, like I should have gotten some um, powder, baby powder. But I didn't do that before I started this. Just everywhere. It's just sticky, sticky, sticky. But you know what? I don't complain about the heat. Like I said, it's just the humidity. Because once winter sets in, I'm not going to be a happy person. Oh, I did something. I was going to look here. No, I didn't. When I was at Juliet's, he did something stupid. I um, I went to put something down underneath, and I came down, <laughs> and I didn't see this thing because it was black. It was black on black. And I thought, what the heck? I thought at first it was like a knife that had gone in here. But it turned out that she had a pen with the long, the long end, you know, the holding end, the long, like simulating a feather, right? Basically. And I smashed right in here. No mark or anything, but it sure felt like I, I thought, mm, I don't know about this. And uh, so, yeah, 
And then I got to tell you something funny. When we went to go over to Bernice's, I got into the front passenger seat, okay? I thought, well, John's gone for coffee, so we're just going to we're just going to go over there. And then um So, we're driving along and that and it's like I can hear John's voice. And I said, "Oh, I said you must be on the phone with John." Right? Because she gets it so that it comes across in her car somehow. Bluetooth wise. And so then there was nothing. And then there was John's voice again. I thought, what the hell? So I turned around in the back and here was John sitting there. Oh my gosh. Because I wasn't expecting him. I didn't hear him say hello. Nothing. <laughs> he scared the living daylights out of me. Because I thought, I thought Jillian was talking to him. And um, he said, why would, she, why would she be on the phone with me? Because <laughs> I'm right here. And uh, I said, yeah. But it's like how your mind works, you know. Yeah. I know Juliet there yesterday, she was looking for something and looking for it and looking for it and looking for it. Couldn't find it. And it was right there where she was. It was right there in front of her. But she didn't see it. It's, um, yeah. You know, I think that's, I don't know, is that our minds? Is, is that the way <laughs> it goes with older people? That it's, oh my God, I'm not in here now. Oh, fooey. Kung fooey. Fudge sickles. Fudge sickles. Oh, have you guys heard that the new N word is brat? B R A T brat. And if you're brat, um, I'm not sure. I heard it a couple of times, but they're they're using that term. Why can't they use proper English? Just use English. Why do you need all these other words to signify the same thing? Like, oh my goodness. Why do you have to do that? I don't get it. Anyways, there is this word out there and it's brat. And, um... I, I was watching it on the news there and they had it and and all that has just so if you're wondering that's the new buzzword if you hear that on um, if you're surfing YouTube or the internet or whatever and somebody says that I gotta figure it out exactly what it is Oh, and I'm having trouble with Pattern Keeper again. Some things will work and I can get it to go and all that kind of stuff. And I'm on the Facebook group and I've asked for help and they've been wonderful. But what I really need is someone to sit down here with me and go through it. Like they said, oh, well, you know, there's lots of videos. Well, I don't do well with videos. Show me that this is diagram one, and or show me a picture of it 
and this is what you do, and go to two, this is what you do, that kind of thing. Now, videos are not bad for some things, but for this, because it's so complicated, I like what it does. I really do like what it does. But I, um, I, uh, it, it's just really complicated. And I have to get someone to actually sit down with me. Now, Carol worked with me there one day this week. No, last week. She worked with me on it. I think it was last week. And I seem to have gotten it and everything else, and I think I might have to sneeze. Just a minute. Oh. Uh. oh. It was so dusty up there. Because of the roads and that, everything's so dried out now. In the spring, we were wet, wet, wet. We were flooding. And now we're dry, dry, dry. Sahara dry. So, um, if anybody else uses Pattern Keeper, please tell me how to do things, but on a step-by-step-by-step -step -by -step basis. Now, I do have it that I have imported my pattern, okay? I've got that. And I have gotten it where I can see it. Some of them will show up that I can use, you know, the, 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 the color, you know, and the squares and stuff like that. And then there are other ones that I can't. So I guess that's what they mean by um, pattern keeper compatible and non-compatible. I don't understand why they can't make it so easy. Why do they have to do all this grid part and, and oh, the grids don't match and all that kind of stuff? Forget that. Just put it on there. Have it just like good notes and have it where I can pick a color and, and um, you know, cover that up and, um, and count my stitches and that kind of thing, you know. I don't need all that other stuff. You know, I think there's too much emphasis on the other stuff. And some of us just want plain and simple. I think it's a great program. I just haven't figured it out yet. So, yeah. So, Yeah, so I will in the morning set this to upload. I think I can probably come and check in every once in a while, answer questions or whatever, comments, if they're up there. But, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's go here and here and here, I think. There's so many people doing mid-year whip parades. And I don't know, I'm going to do mine at like in December or something, end of year. Everything that I have stitched, completed, whatever. That I started this year. 
so so p please remember on Sunday that there is a live from 12 noon to 2 30 p.m. I will be here if I can do a sh couple of short videos I will do that tomorrow and try and put post them up on the Facebook group you so you can all see I'm just wet just wet and um, yeah so that is from uh, central daylight time okay so I will be here and then um, Monday I will be over at the yard sale and we are doing this yard sale for about two weeks so we're hoping a lot of stuff will sell. You know, I'd love to get rid of a whole bunch of stuff. Because I want it gone. You know, like I've got queen size sheets. I don't have a queen size bed anymore. So I got rid of those. They're flannel too. And I've just, I have baby gates and I have uh, this one small pet carrier and all of that that I never used because Jonah was too big for it. I think I used it once for Sydney. I can't remember. So anyways, please like, share, subscribe, comment. It is that those views those views that really add up. Thumbs up doesn't hurt. Comments are really good. But uh, when you watch my video, that's, yeah, that's a point in the right direction. And always make sure that you are subscribed, okay? Because people get kicked off left, right, and center. And I know there's a lot of people that are, a, a lot of YouTubers that are mad about that. You know, like it, it shouldn't be, you know, and if it is that you haven't been active in two years, I heard, then they'll just automatically bump you off. But some people are on every single day and they have to subscribe every single day. So I don't know. Anyways, may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you. And so do I. And so does Jonah, who's up in the cat condo. And I was going to say Miss Twinkle Toes again. It's going to take months for me to get past that. Yeah. So it's it's a very hard. It's It's been very difficult for me. For sure. So, oh gosh, here. Thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would die on the cross for me so that my sins would be forgiven. And that's a prayer I pray for all of you as well. Okay, I guess I'll see you on the next video. Toodle-littles, everybody!